Hello, this is your mayor, Chuck Bennett. Well, Salem, the cloth mask project was a great success. We had more than 838 donated so far. Because of the ongoing need by nonprofit organizations, we're continuing the mask drive for two more weeks. The generous donation of your time and materials to make these masks is helping many social service and nonprofit organizations with in-person contacts who continue to provide much needed services uh, to our residents. One such organization is Willamette Valley Hospice and they have a quick thank you for you. Thank you so much from Willamette Valley Hospice for the face masks. We will use them for our, our patients and staff to help keep them safe. Now I want to give a couple of shout outs to first to Will and B's quilt and coffee shop who provided 965 fabric masks. Amazing. Also a shout out to South Salem Sewing Group and friends who've helped with the city mask project. Uh, to network with them and find out how you can start a sewing group in your neighborhood, find them on Facebook. Also, it's National Library Week. While Salem Public Library's physical locations are closed to help slow the spread of the coronavirus, there are many ways to connect with the Salem Public Library. Library staff are interacting with hundreds of users on email, phone, live web chat, and social media. In March, the library had the highest number of ebook and audio book checkouts on record. Ebook and audio book circulation increased by 80% compared to March of last year. To put it into numbers, since mid-March, 23,019 ebooks and audiobooks have been checked out. Online library card registration has also increased. Your library card allows for immediate access to online resources. And remember, with your library card, you can stream movies or TV shows and do all kinds of research. You have access to car repair guides, homework tools, and genealogy resources. Be sure to check out our amazing library services. I also want to talk with you about a couple of other issues. We are working now on reopening Salem's economy in cooperation with the state and county governments. The state and county will really be the determiners of when our economy restarts. And that is uh, being uh, worked on almost daily. I'm finding myself in meetings. The state, the governor, has set guidelines. They are both medical and business, but primarily medical guidelines, which means that the county health department will be a major player in putting that together. I've got to say, Marion County has stepped up. They are developing a plan for business reopening in the next, uh, that will be into the state rather by Friday. And that draft will become the basis for our discussion of how to reopen businesses in this community. And I really want to do a shout out for Commissioner Kevin Cameron for the tremendous work he and his colleagues on the County Commission are doing. So it's going to be over. But before, it, before it's over, we need to stay safe, wear your mask, stay home, and I'll tell you what, I'll see you when this is over. Thank you very much.